Welcome to another Python penetration testing tutorial. I know that in previous videos we jumped straight into coding and the reason is that I was and um, I am assuming you know the basics of Python programming, which is something that I would not go into uh, because there are thousands of Python introductory videos on YouTube. So however, um, in this and in the next videos, I'm going to review a few modules from the Python standard library because uh, they are so very crucial for you as a cybersecurity analyst or penetration tester in your assessments. So I'm talking about the sys module, the OS module and the sub process module. And today we're going to focus on the sys module. Now, uh, if you remember in earlier coding videos, we used command line arguments and uh, in Python, you can make use of them through the sys.argv um, and also through arg parser, uh, which are only two ways of passing command line arguments to Python. Now, there are other two uh there are others too but we won't focus uh, on them so we're going to talk about the sys.argv here um and um, let's actually do an example because that's how you uh, understand it so much better so we're going to build a small script here and we're gonna start by importing sys um so first let's print the name of the script basically the first item in the sys.argv list, because sys.argv is a list, um, is the script name. So let's say print the script you are running is, let's put it into quotes, s, and then the string of sys argv zero because that's the first argument okay now uh well also let's also print the number of arguments in this list and how do we do that well that's actually really simple so print there are s arguments And so if you don't understand what I'm doing here, you should check string methods in Python. So list uh, arguments in the list. Okay. And then also the string, the length of the sys dot argv. Okay. All right. So the, there are, um, Uh, this many arguments uh, in the list and now let's also print um, the first argument so let's say print remain consistent here the first argument is let's also put it into quotes s and then sys argv one so zero is actually the first, but zero is the name of the script. And then the first passed argument is uh, sysargv1. Okay, and also uh, let's, let's also actually print uh, the arguments themselves. So print the arguments are s, okay. And then let's say string sys of argv because this is actually so here in the last one we're actually printing the list okay and then let's save this and finally we're gonna run it either here on or uh, we can if you're using visual studio code you could just run it in the terminal or if not you can pop uh, if you're in windows open up a command prompt and move to the directory where the script is and then actually I'm actually going to run it with Python 3.5 and the name it's arguments.py and let's say we pass it like three arguments let's say this is the first argument that 
is the second argument and let's also say there because i'm not really inspired today it would be the third argument all right now let's run this okay so the script you are running is arguments.py there are four arguments in the list so arguments.py is the first this is the first past one past argument the second past argument and the third past argument the first past argument is this and the arguments are blah 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 the list of the arguments okay so there you have it you could um you could also instantiate them um, as variables in your programs if you will extensively be using them so if you want to fixate them uh, however in that case i would use arg parser so in that case i would import arg parser i guess that's the name of the library not arg parse or arg parse i'm not really sure let's see so python import arg parse yeah so it's arg parse not arg parser all right um, so use arg parser if you uh, if you will be extensively using uh, arguments command line arguments okay uh, now you can see the video i did on md5 hash cracking to better understand arg parser because there i'm actually using them more thoroughly now moving on to other methods in the sys module um, and for that i'm going to open a python let's let's open up a python shell uh, to exemplify so another um, interesting and important argument is the sys.platform okay so the sys first we have to import import sys and then sys dot let's try to make a little bit space here sys dot platform okay uh, this actually gives you um, shows you or returns uh, the operating system that uh, this is using or that the python is installed on so where would you actually use this uh, well let's say you're developing an exploit for a software that runs on multiple platforms and you want it uh, to be platform insensitive so in this case you would actually do an if else statement let's say for example if sys dot platform equals equals linux uh, then do this and if sys dot platform equals win32 do that um, in fact we just did that in a previous video where we built a screen grabber in python so if you're interested make sure to check that video out now the next sys method is sys.path okay so this actually gives you a list of everything that's added to path um, where we could run the files without their full path so sys.path is very useful now another one is sys.version okay and this actually gives you the version of the interpreter um, yeah then there is also sys uh, get file system encoding okay and uh, this gives us the encoding used by the file system and of course you have sys dot standard in sys dot standard out and also sys uh, dot standard error all of which are objects pointing to the standard input output and also the standard error and another one that i want to mention the final one is um, the sys get default encoding which actually returns the default encoding all right so uh, this is all i have for the sys module of course there are many more methods but i think these are uh, a few of the most important now you could further explore uh, the sys module yourself by doing for example dir sys and you get a list of everything which may not be the most beautiful way of displaying them 
um, you could also do sys dot and then hit tab and you could get a better view of um, all of them so this is actually another so this is actually the same list I think maybe um, and you can actually see uh, those that we've talked about and also others like let's say for example sys modules let's see uh, this is what it returns so sys hit tab and you have many other methods that you could use uh, in the sys and of course you could also do help and sys in parentheses which will give you the help which will give you uh, like a description of old methods and what the, the sys module does so as you can see here std in std out std error which we've just mentioned standard input file objects standard output file object blah 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 okay so that's it for this video fellas in the next one we're going to look at what the os module can do i'll see you then